never yeah. saying fuck you. Yeah, exactly. No, the odds are more in favour of Fury. Yeah. And uh, that's why I'm edging Fury Definitely. to win. So I'm going to put Fury, yeah, yeah. sixth round. Sixth round. But I'm going to put a cheeky white on for fucking yeah. fourth round, man. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I is back. Um... Right, you know we was talking about on my weekly wrap-up show um, every Monday, usually. I'll be back next Monday. Um, about Anthony Joshua and Dillian White seeming to go pretty quiet. Um, they're supposedly supposed to be fighting August the 12th. With Anthony Joshua looking for his second fight before he gears up to fight Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder in Saudi Arabia um, in December. Well, you know, we've already come out with an article saying, you know, that was never on and we don't know. But I'll, 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 I'll touch back on that, by the way. God, um, it's uh, like ping pong instead of boxing. What, what sport are we in? <laughs> the confusion is in the Buddhism. It's a confused Buddhism. So Eddie Hearn catching up with, you know, IFL, as he does with Coogan Cassius. And he, uh, uh, oh no, sorry, it wasn't with Coogan. It was with the uh, Scots, it was with the Scots lad. Um, and um, he had this to say, stand by. We've seen some comments from Dillian White today. I don't know if you've seen them yet, mm. saying that there's been no conversation with you. That we're eight weeks away. Where are we at with this? So we spoke last night uh, to his team and this morning. Um, and I don't know. We've made an offer. They felt that offer was unacceptable. We may be too far out on the money to make that fight. Um, we're looking at two other opponents for August 12th. The key for us, Calm, is like, if we can't make the Deontay Wilder fight, like, it's not that it has to be Dillian. AJ wants it to be, that's the fight he wanted. But if we've got the Wilder fight done, we can fight someone else from the top 15 on August 12th. It's a, still want a decent, a proper fight to prepare yourself for Deontay Wilder. But if we can't get the Wilder fight done, then we need a much bigger fight on August 12th, or we look at Tyson Fury in September. Do you know what I mean? But I believe, and Frank spoke to the guys at Skills Challenge last night, that we're going to get that fight made with Wilder. So once we do that, August 12th, you know, if we can't make a Dillian White fight, then we, we take someone else in the top 15. Um, he won't fight Dillian White on August 12th. What's changed since then? AJ's desire to fight Dillian White. For me, I think if you've got Deontay Wilder locked in for December, fighting Dillian White on August 12th is risky. Bear in mind the amount of money you're about to fight Deontay Wilder with. He and Derek James specifically requested Dillian White. The issue is the money Dillian White wants... The money AJ wants, it just, you know, the market is starting to change a little bit in general for boxing. And I don't think we can get to the number that Dillian wants for that fight, in all honesty. I think Dillian wants to fight, I think AJ wants to fight, but we may well run out of time. Bailey, do you want Bailey? I know that. Um, Listen, the payday is not in the booties. Anthony Joshua said, my bank could clown. Is closed. Uh, it's a closed booty. It's a stingy booty. The miser is in the booty. All of the handouts have left the booty. All of the hands in are in the booty. Round of applause, yay! Because a lot of people would like to use Anthony Joshua as their retirement funds, uh, you know. And nobody cared about a Dillian White fight. I mean, if we're forced to have to see it. And Eddie Hearn's like, oh, well, Joshua wanted that fight. But it's funny, Joshua did a cryptic tweet where he was like, fight Dillian White. And when AJ does this and AJ FUs, I mean, AJ does what he wants. So uh, it, it sounded like it was Eddie that wanted the Dillian White fight. I mean, if we don't get it, I mean, there's other people, like Eddie Hearn said, um, other, other geezers in the in the top 15. So but, Dillian May uh, <laughs> fumbled the bag. The bag's left the boot in. I wonder how much money he absolutely asked for. I won 52.5 million. God, did you imagine? Well, you know what? I'm not saying that he doesn't deserve to get paid some, some money, but I mean, to be honest, no more than five milli for a Dillian White fight, to be fair. For that, for that this stage in his career, um, coming, yeah, at this stage in his career, 
Oh, I couldn't see Dillian White answering for more than five milli. It'd be, it'd be silly. Bye. Um, yeah. So I'm wondering what I'm wondering what he asked for and what they was prepared to give. Um, but yeah, there's other there's other geezers in the top fifteen. So stand by. We don't we might hear about Dempsey McKean again. God. No more than five milli for Dilly. So let's see if this uh, materialises or doesn't. As the heat turns up in the UK, does the Dillian White and AJ fight cool down? Hmm. Anyway, I'm gone. Hi, your girl. It's Leo the Shamrat Nonless. Come box with Shan. Gyan! Make sure this left the bill dizzy. And then it looks like the bag has left the bill dizzy. Dog Dillion. Gun!